Hey Bodgies and Widgies, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is one that I didn't ever want to make. Um, I knew it had to be made at some point. Uh, I just, I didn't expect it to be now or, uh, or so soon, I guess. Um, but it was eventually going to happen. Um, for those of you that don't know, over the past six, almost seven years of my life, I've had a, uh, a female Jack Dempsey that I grew up from about uh, this big. She had purchased her when she was about three or four centimeters um, and she was about t almost 20, 22 centimeters, something like that. Um, and she's been an incredibly important fish in the journey of my uh, of my aquarium hobby. Um, the reason for that is because, well, this entire YouTube channel revolved around her. She was growing up so big that I had to get her a new aquarium and so I purchased, you know, a five foot tank, the one that you see behind me, um, and that was completely dedicated for her. It was going to be her, her sort of uh, permanent home and, uh, and that's where I thought, oh, I'm going to document this, this awesome fish that lives, you know, in a tank with community fish, which I've never seen happen before, you know, a Jack Dempsey that's so renowned for being such an aggressive species. Um, is perfectly fine living in a tank with guppies and rainbow fish and tetras. You know, this is something that I have to show off to the world. And, uh, you know, from there, making videos about my five foot tank, getting new fish, um, showcasing my Jack Dempsey, Jill was her name, um, in, in my videos and, and everything like that was just such an amazing joyride. And, and from there, the channel started growing. We started to get sponsors. We've got, you know, more tanks now. Got my first ever saltwater tank and so much has revolved around this single fish. And, and though they didn't relate back directly, you know, like a saltwater reef tank has nothing to do with my Jack Dempsey, but indirectly, the reason that all of that happened was because of her. And um, last week on Monday, I believe, so the, this video will be coming out on Sunday, um, five days prior, she ended up passing away. Um, and uh, I don't really know the reason why. Uh, I believe it was just, she sort of completed her lifespan um, and it was maybe a few months younger than what I was expecting because um, I, I have seen online that Jack Dempsey lifespans can go anywhere from about seven to ten years. She was nearing seven years and I don't think it was anything else that could have potentially caused her death because um, every single other fish in this tank was and still is completely happy and healthy um, and it was just her and I've never experienced a situation like that and I don't think it was any sort of illness or sickness or temperature drop or uh, You know any extraneous variable like that because I think it would have affected multiple other fish And I, I really made sure to go through all of the other fish and though I have had new fish enter this system uh, In recent times. I still don't think that they would have brought any parasites or any sort of illness that would have affected the tank because I doubt it would have just taken out this incredibly big, happy, healthy Jack Dempsey cichlid and completely left any of my other fish, some of which are probably more sensitive than a Jack Dempsey uh, with with no sort of harm. So I, I personally think it was just due to old age. I went out to a few aquarium stores that day, had a really great time, purchased a few new fish, came home and, um, and yeah, she was basically just passed passed away in that corner of the tank um, and yeah it was so abrupt because the day before I was feeding her she was perfectly fine um, and it's been it's been quite um, it, it, I, I still don't know how to process the situation I'm slowly getting over it um, and yeah it's like I've had other fish you know don't get me wrong this isn't the first time I've had a fish pass away before um, but it's the first time that it's really affected me to this level because I was just so emotionally attached to that fish. Um, not just because of this YouTube channel, but a lot of other things that have happened in my life through the course that I've had this fish. So, um, yeah, it's a, it was a pretty hard hitting moment. Um, but yeah, I've, I've recovered from it. I'm all good. So yeah, in that regards, um, it's sort of the ending of a chapter. It's the ending of an era of this channel. Uh, and my life having some fish that has been so important and yeah, it's uh, it, it, it is what it is. It's happened um, And I just wanted to you know make a video and let you know 
just because you guys have been following her growth and her life for, for so long. So um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know. Um, that's essentially it. I didn't want to do anything else this week. I just want to let you know about this event. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for, for being a part of this channel because as important as she was to this channel, you, every single one of you watching, are equally as important, and I'm glad that I still have you here. So thank you so much for all of the support that you've been giving me. I know that, um, you know, as cliche as it is, she won't be forgotten. She's still going to have a really important, um, important legacy in this fish room and any other fish room or aquarium that I set up in the future. And um, yeah, that's it. But um, as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay Aussie Australian. Bodgy and the five foot out.